G'day, Les from Calandra Marine. Look at this beautiful sunny morning. Pig's ass. It's a good day for catching flathead, but. So remember that boat we were putting together the other day in the shed? Well, have a look at it, my new boat. So when I was given the Golden Wonka card from Steve, he said to me, before you get a Trident, Les, you've got to go through every boat in the range. And this is the missing link, the 420 Explorer Trophy. So when Steve said to me, do whatever you want with a boat, what would you do? Of course you'd do what I did. Everything you can fit in this boat, put on this boat. Have a look at this. So what do you notice about this boat? The first thing you notice is this. Have a look at this vinyl wrap. How sexy is this? Beautiful flathead, beautiful three-dimensional look. It's even chasing a lure. We can even see the line. The graphics in this are just outstanding. This would be one of the best wraps I've ever seen in my life. So we've already talked about this glorious wrap on the side. We've put nice white alloy wheels on it. We've put the encoder on the front, my favorite anchoring tool. Look at these LED stealth looking lights. Nice and low, fit to, with the contour of the boat. We put extra rod holders in it. I've put a massive live bait tank at the front here in the casting deck, not like the traditional little dishwasher we have in the back. So one of my boats wouldn't be complete without Old Faithful, the Lowrance 7X Color Sander GPS combo. And not only have we just fitted the sander, we've done some nice little finishing touches on this boat. We've used snakeskin on every application where there's exposed wires, up on the min encoder, here, and of course, on Old Faithful, the Evinrude E-Tech. Gee, how'd this fishing rod get in here? Oh, well, anyway, seeing that, it's time to get this baby in the water. Bung's in, that'll be a recipe for a good day. So one of the big advantages of these boats, as you can see, they're a shallow draft boat. We hardly have to put the trailer in the water. And look, dry as a bone. Let's start her up. She's an E-Tech, all right. First time, every time. Check this out, pot of gold in the air. Fish her that way. Let's follow the rainbow to the pot of gold. Hold on, buddy, let's go. looking for is these little runoffs coming out of the bank here and that's usually a nice spot for the flathead delay I mean the tide itself at the moment's not ideal I would have loved to be in here bottom of the tide nice and low and obviously nice flat water but beggars can't be choosers it's a hard job and this is the job we're dealing with we're dealing with hey Billy I'm gonna whack the encoder in and get us to hold here just need to get to this drop off. Just about to put the spot lock on. We're in the spot now. I'm going to hit that. Mikoda just does the rest. It's going to hold us here. I'm going to put a nice pilchard out there and see what we can catch. So you can see how stable this boat is. There's two of us wandering around in a boat. It's 4.2 metres. It doesn't look like it's a huge boat, but how stable is it, Billy? You know, you're standing there with a camera and you're not whizzing around. And look at me, I'm walking all over the boat. Nothing's happening. As you can see, there's a bit of a chop. You know, it's probably blowing 15 knots. Um, these, everyone thinks these boats are just designed for creeks and dams, but here in the Palmerstone Passage, I believe they're, you know, one of the most popular and well, best suited boats if this is what you're interested in, this shallow water fishing. So you wouldn't go past one of these. Look at that pilchard Billy. Just waiting for a nice lizard to come in. Might just set this line down, Billy, and we're gonna have a bit of a yak about this boat, eh? Okay, so we've talked about this before, but we're down here in the command center of the boat. The Elite 7 Chirp is just the perfect sander. It's not a high price sander, it's just the ideal sander for any boat doing this estuary fishing. It's got the right images, as we've seen before. It gives us a nice picture at the bottom, an accurate depth, and we've got the GPS in case we get lost. So, big feature in this boat. 
something else that we've gone to a little bit different in this boat is I, I might have to pull the seat out in a way a bit to show you this. But we've put in a, um, a set of digital switches. These are the old traditional on off flick 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 switches as we call them. Because this boat has got LED strip lighting underneath the gunnel rails here which of a night time going to give us just enough light to see what we're doing without reflecting in our eyes. So we opted this time to put in a nice matching LED panel to incorporate that. Plenty of storage in the back. We've got the battery under here. We've got half storage in this side because there's nothing in there. We've got the fuel tank over in this side. We fitted this boat again with an automatic bilge pump. I like to have a bilge pump on a boat. I'm not suggesting they're going to um, sink, but peace of mind, you know, you get home, you forget to take the bung out of your boat, your boat's sitting there full, filling up with water in the rainy days, a bilge pump's going to pump the water out regardless. So usually there's our small dishwasher up the back, or live bait tank, whatever you want to call it. In this boat, I've opted not to put it there, I've put a monstrous one up the front. We could nearly call this a washing machine. Get a load of the size of this. I mean, it's huge. We've got a dividing board in the middle. We could obviously use that as a cutting board too. We could get a 750 mil flathead in there very easily. Probably a load of washing and some dishes. Another great feature in the Flora Trophy is this area up here. As you can see, it's a drop-in, waterproof hatch. Traditionally, it could be used for your anchor. In our case, we don't even bother carrying an anchor because we've got the Minn Kota. That's our anchor. It's also got a bung in it, so it can be used as a kill tank. So, you get them nice big fish, or even a mud crab we can throw in there. So, another great feature. So, as we've seen in majority of the Quintrex boats, we've got all this underfloor storage area also. Everything can be stowed away. Nothing on the floors in the boat gives you room to move around the boat, an absolute stealth finish food flows through this whole boat. Okay, so everyone asks, why is this funny looking front on this boat? Well, it's called the fighter hull, and it's the pickled fork front as it suggests having a, the two out point coming out, whatever you want to call them. As you can see, it's designed for a Minn Kota on the front. On either side, that can be fitted. We get a plate welded on when we order it from the factory to give it a bit more structure underneath. But what they've achieved by doing this is increasing this nose area on the boat. And as you can see, it's a big casting platform. And I can walk around here freely. There could be two of us up here, one on either side, flicking plastics, doing whatever we want. We've also got provision to put a big seat in up here, which just simply removes out of the floor and we can pop it in one of six different spots that we've got allocated in this boat. We tend to traditionally fish out the back of a boat. Well, this type of boat, it's designed to walk around, move around, flick lures, and be extremely stable, as you can see. I'm walking around this boat with no effort, no, I'm not getting the wobbles or anything like that, if that's what you want to call them great package for what we're doing here at the moment, waiting for a flathead to take my belcher and hopefully be able to put him in that nice big dishwasher with you. What a life. Quintrex, E-Tech, Fishing, Blue Skies, and I'm getting paid for this. Not really. Hey Billy, have a look at this. How oh, long Tom. So have a look at the teeth on these. They have monstrous teeth. They're part of the Barracuda family. Look at those teeth Billy. He's snapping away. So these are excellent bait for offshore fishing. Um, I've never eaten one. They tell me you can, but I think we'll let this bloke go. He's, 
still well and truly alive as you can see he's not a flathead but he's a long time so just like all of my less special boats guaranteed to catch a fish what can i say time to go back to the ramp time to go back to work let's back her up billy Another great thing about these boats with because they have a low draft and don't draw a lot of water, they don't displace a big wake and as you can see as we're going faster fellow fishing on the beach, we're putting no more ripples in the water than that was already there before we come along. So I'm gonna get back out there and have another little fish because by the time I get back to the office the phones are gonna be ringing and this boat's gonna be Bloody sold on me again. I have a ton of fun customising these boats and as you can see I have a ton of fun showing them to you. What I want to put out to you there in movie land is put down in the comments section your dream boat, your dream build. Come up with some ideas, tell me what you want in a boat but let's do it with a boat under five metres and we'll go through those comments, we're going to pick out the most popular and see if we can build that dream boat for you. G'day Les here, just finishing off another deal. If you like our YouTube videos, well hit the subscribe button. You know that subscribe button there? You'll become part of the family of Calandra Marine and get given the latest opportunity to watch our YouTube videos as they become available. So get behind us, we get behind you, hit subscribe.